Hey everyone! Uh, today I want to have a quick chat about something which is the it's the plague of new agile software delivery teams. But I think uh, it's also something that entrepreneurs come into um, in contact with. It's something that business leaders can fall into really, really easily as well. Um, and that is this idea of what I call the never-ending story. So uh, when when teams uh, when software build teams transition from big scale, long term projects that might take many months or many years until the product's actually built and finished and shipped. When teams are transitioning from that way of working to the new way of working, which is more around how do we get something small out the door in market, testing more frequently, um, and you know potentially moving to something that's as quick as a two week cycle, a two to four week cycle is not uncommon, even in large enterprise. Uh, when you're shifting from that way of working where historically you had a big project that you worked on for a long period of time and then you get to the end and you you finished so there's that sense of achievement and fulfillment that comes with having finished a big task when you shift from that environment to an environment where you're putting stuff out the door regularly it can feel like this constant kind of ongoing, there's never a break, like it's just one thing after another, there's always something new. And I know entrepreneurs get this as well, right? If you go from having a day job where you walk away at the end of the day or the end of the week uh, and you go home and you've, you've put it to one side, um, if you shift from having a job like that to being in an entrepreneurial space where all of a sudden you find yourself working late nights and weekends and it's very easy to slip into this always on sort of state. So, um, what I want to get under today is that how do we how do we shift that up? Because it's incredibly exhausting to feel like you've constantly got a to-do list that is way longer than you're ever going to get through. Uh, and if we're trying to move our teams into this fast-paced, responsive, agile environment, we need to be really careful that we're not just putting our people into a place of utter burnout uh, and that we're building that resilience as we go. Because there's two sides of the coin to the resilience uh, resilience question. There's that aspect of, yes, push through, but there's also that aspect of putting gas back in the tank. And particularly as we're going into holiday season, I think it's really important to just have a bit of a think about how we're building in those rest times. And the the I guess how are we, if we're transitioning away from a situation where we we've got a big thing that we can say, hey, yeah, we've done this, we can have a celebration about it. We're transitioning into an environment where it just feels like one thing after another. How do we actually take stock? Because it's really, really important for our own mental health, for our own well-being, that we're able to rest and recuperate. Uh, and I think just to be able to celebrate the wins. Uh, when I was going through this, I was always taught, you know, when you're in that agile cycle, you need to celebrate your wins and you need to celebrate your wins regularly. Uh, you know, whether that's every two weeks at the end of your two-week sprint, your two-week work um, work task that, that you have some kind of celebration. Uh, we, there was one team that I worked with that was awesome. We used to do what we called fail cake. So every time you had a massive failure, um, someone would bring cake. Um, warning, if you're in a very fast-paced learning environment, it could also be a very fast-paced weight gain environment. Uh, but fail cake was another thing that we did. And I, I feel like a lot of those things kind of fell short because whilst we would have that window where we said, yeah, we've achieved something, you always knew that the to-do list was sitting there right around the corner and that when you came back in on Monday, it was like the next big list of things that had to go. And so I wanted to get deeper around how do we actually get to a point where we've got a level of comfort, uh, we're getting that sense of fulfillment in our work, and I think for me, what it comes down to is that every day, every moment and every day, I have to be okay with where I'm at and what I've achieved. And I have to have a level of comfort that what I've done is enough. And that if I walked away today, now, that that would be enough. And certainly that's not something that I found early on in my career. It's something that I think I've got better at as I've got a little bit older. I don't know whether it's an age experience thing, uh, but I definitely think it's a deliberate focus that's required to sort of pause and appreciate. And rather than constantly 
manufacturing this urgency ourselves because it's very easy to put all that pressure on ourselves around times and dates and those sorts of things. Very easy to do that in a, in a uh, business environment where you've got a team around you as well. But I think rather than that manufactured urgency, we need to get to a place where we say, this is enough. And what I've achieved so far, what this team has achieved so far, what we've done so far is enough. And for me, that's the core of the understanding of what it means to implement these practices where we are delivering more value more often. It's not about speed. A lot of times when we get into agile software delivery, you know, the, the push from leadership can be about speed to market. It's actually not about speed at all. It's about consistent delivery. And I think when you go that layer deeper, it's actually about if it all stopped today, that would be enough. And it would be enough because we've got something that's in market that's working for our customers. And it might not be perfect or it might be very close to perfect, but it's working. And it's self-reliant and that's enough and then we come back and make an improvement over the next two to four week period and we release that in and that's enough but at any point in time what we have released into market what we have been working on should be enough and so this was something I was thinking about for the last week or so and I wanted to share that insight because I think all too often we try to fill that sense of scrabbling with pause reflect have a fail cake you know get to the Friday and have drinks or whatever it is and that's cool that that works to a degree but I think we've got to get to this deeper level around it's not just about how quickly we can get through the to-do list and the fact that we're ticking things off it, I, I'm a box ticker I do get a lot of fulfillment out of putting the tick in the box don't worry about that but I think on the deeper level it has to be about today is enough what we've achieved so far is enough. If we walked away today, that would be enough. There is a level of self-reliance in the systems and the processes and the technology and the teams that we've built that if they walked away today, that would be enough. So I want to leave you with that thought this week. Um, I hope it's not too philosophical for a Friday or a Tuesday or whenever you're seeing this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, just take a moment and, and kind of question yourself because in going through this this sort of thought pattern myself, I actually realized that there's a lot of self-manufactured urgency and pressure that I put on myself when in reality, it's, it's not actually a thing. So I, I would be interested to see your thoughts, to hear your thoughts. Please drop me a comment around what it feels like to be in that place of actually this is enough and that we don't have to cram the next 15 things in before Christmas because it's okay to be where we are today and it's okay to be enough. If that's not the case, then how do we set it up so that as we move into the new year, we can take that piece and we can we can have that kind of that peace of mind and that groundedness and that comfortableness that as we're ticking things off our list, it's self-contained, self-reliant, it's enough each time. That's it from me this week. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having an awesome, awesome day and uh, we'll see you very soon. Thanks.